Hello everybody, welcome to Yoga for Self Love with Kim. I am Kim, this will be a short, gentle practice. We'll focus on the feet, the ankles, the knees, the hips. So lower body focus. Bring yourself to your mat and find your way into Shavasana. You can come down onto your back. Extend your legs down the mat, feet to the outer corners of the mat. Take the arms out to your sides, find some space in the armpits. Roll the palms up to face the ceiling or down towards the floor if you need a little bit more grounding energy today. And if this does not feel good with the legs extended, you could always bend your knees Give your low back a little bit of relief and point the knees up towards the ceiling, feet about hip width distance, or you could even take the feet a little bit wider and knock the knees in towards each other. Find what feels comfortable for you. And if it feels okay, go ahead and close your eyes. Or find a soft and steady gaze. Just take a moment here to land. Feel the weight of your body on the floor, on the mat, on the earth. And let yourself get heavy. And feel as if the floor is rising up to greet you, supporting you, comforting you, holding you. Take a moment to check in. Notice how you are feeling. Notice anything you bring to the mat with you today. Thoughts, feelings, emotions. Notice any physical sensations in your body. How does your breath feel? How does your energy feel today? Just bringing in a playful sense of curiosity and letting go of any judgment. As always, I invite you to bring in the intention to be gentle, kind, patient, loving, compassionate with yourself as you move through this practice. And if you choose to carry that intention off of the mat and out into your day with you. Bring one hand to your belly, one hand to your heart. Take a deep breath in through your nose, draw the breath down into the belly, fill the belly, feel the belly rise. Draw the breath up into the rib cage, up into the chest. Feel the whole torso expand. And then as you exhale, release the breath from the chest, the rib cage, the belly, out through the nose. Take a few more breaths like that, inhaling, filling up the body with the breath, exhaling slowly, releasing the breath out. Slowly release your hands, begin to flutter your eyes open. Extend your legs down the mat, legs together. Reach your arms up overhead. So reach the whole body long, up and out through the fingers, down and out through the toes. Feeling free to yawn or sigh here or anytime throughout the practice. And then point toes, now flex your ankles, point the toes, flex the ankles, back and forth a few times, pointing and flexing. And then reach it all out again, fingers to toes, and then let everything relax. Draw knees into your chest. Take hands to the back of the thighs, send your feet up towards the ceiling, bend the knees, 
pull the knees and thighs in towards your chest, but keep your sacrum rooting down towards the mat. Happy baby modification. You can stay with this, or if it's available to you, reach hands up for the feet, the calves, the heels, the shins, whatever you can grab a hold of. You can stay here at center, or if you feel it, give yourself a little rock from side to side. Bring yourself to center. If you've got a hold of the right foot or heel or calf or shin, keep hold of that. Release the left foot down to the mat with the knee bent and take that left hand over to the right foot, calf, shin, whatever you've got. And then gently pull down on that right foot, draw that right knee down towards your right armpit or towards the side of the mat. And you'll feel your left buttock pop up, up off the mat a little bit and then press your left pelvic calf buttock hip down towards the mat and the right knee foot will lift up a little bit and then toggle this back and forth pulling down the right foot right knee feeling that slight lift of the left buttock and hip and then you pull that left buttock hip down towards the mat slight lift of that right foot knee a few more times a gentle push pull here side to side and then send that left foot back up find your version of happy baby and we'll switch it over to the other side drop the right foot down to the mat with the knee bent right hand comes over to meet that left foot or calf or heel or shin or whatever and then gently pull that left knee down towards the mat or down towards that left armpit right bum will pop up off the mat a little bit and then you switch right the calf hip roots down towards the mat that left knee foot will pop up a little bit and then you take this one side to side and this gentle toggle back and forth and then send that right foot back up into your version of happy baby once again and then release the feet, drop the feet down to the mat, extend the left leg down to the mat, also extend the right leg down to the mat, but bend that right knee and open that right knee out to the side a little bit. And then we'll begin to pick up the right foot, scooping that right foot up towards the ceiling, towards the midline, as if you could sort of plant that right foot up on the ceiling, scooping the pinky toe side of the foot upwards. And then we'll switch this now, draw the right knee in towards the midline and sweep the right foot out to the right side. And again, imagine that you could begin to turn the bottom of the foot up towards the ceiling. And then we'll switch it again, right knee, comes out towards the side, right foot draws in towards the midline, scoop that right foot up towards the ceiling. And then again, right knee comes in towards midline, you send the right foot out to the side, send the foot out and up. And one more time, right foot scoops in towards midline, and then you draw that right knee back in towards the midline and sweep the foot out. And then extend the right leg down the mat, We'll bend that left knee, bring that left knee out to the side just a little bit, pausing here for a moment, and then we'll pick up that left foot now, draw it in towards the midline, scooping that left foot up towards the ceiling, pinky toe side of that left foot scooping up, and then we'll draw that left knee in towards midline, send that left foot out towards the side. And then Left foot draws in towards midline, left knee moves out to the side. You scoop up through that left foot, and then the left knee draws in, send the left foot out, sweep that foot out and up. And one more time, left foot sweeps in towards the midline, knee comes out to the side, you scoop the foot up towards the ceiling. And then last time, left knee in towards midline, left foot sweeps out to the side and up. 
and then extend the left leg down. Bring the arms up overhead again, stretching out through the whole body. And then release arms down. Let's bend the knees. Bring the feet to outer edges of your mat. Drop both knees over to the right. And then swing the knees back up through center and over to the left. And then a few times, sweeping your knees from side to side. Find your pace. And then let's draw both knees in towards the chest, inner edges of the feet together, inner legs together, knees together, hands to the knees, roll your knees around in a few circles. And then switch the direction of your circles. And then we'll bring it back to center. And now, if it feels okay for you, you can rock and roll yourself up to a seated position that does not feel good on your spine. Then just simply find your way up your way into a seated position. And then from here, I'll take the hands forward, step the feet back. Tuck your toes under behind you, hug the heels in towards each other, and then come back to sit up on the heels. You can walk the hands in towards the legs. If it feels super intense, you could keep hands down on the mat, or you can walk your hands up onto your thighs. Keep those heels hugging in, broken toe pose, finding an opening through the bottoms of our feet, the plantar fascia. And then we'll take the hands down to the mat, untuck your toes, come back to sit on your heels, take your hands around behind you on your shoulders, and then lift up your knees. Here we're getting an opening through the front of the ankles. And then knees come back down, hands come forward again, tuck your toes under. Let's walk it back again into our broken toe pose. So hands stay down on the mat or you walk them up the thighs. And then hands back down to the mat, untuck toes, come back to sit on heels, hands come back behind you, lean it back and lift up the knees. And then let's do it one more time. Hands come forward. Tuck the toes behind you, walk yourself back one last time, come up onto the heels for your broken toe pose, hugging heels inward. And then hands come back down to the mat, untuck toes, come back to sit on the heels, hands behind you, lift up the knees as you lean it back. And then let's take it back onto the hands and knees, finding our table position. Now extend the right leg back behind you. Let's point the toes, flex the ankle, point and flex a few times. And then drop the ball of that right foot down to the mat, press into the hands and press out through that back foot. Breathe into the back of that right leg, into that right foot. A few nice deep breaths here. And then release right knee down to the mat. Extend that left leg back behind you. Let's point the toes and then flex the ankle. A couple times point and flex. And then release ball of that left foot down to the mat. Press into your hands and press out through that back foot. Breath or two here. And then lower that knee down. Let's tuck toes under. Press into your finger pads, hug in through the arms. Lift up through your armpits, glide your hips up and back, downward dog with the Let's say a generous bend in the knees here. And begin to pedal out your legs. 
bending one knee, pressing opposite heel towards the mat, and then switching it up side to side. And then roll up onto the balls of your feet and press your heels towards the mat. Rolling up on the balls of feet again and then press heels towards the mat. Once more, roll it up onto the balls of your feet and then press your heels towards the mat. And we'll bend the knees, crouch yourself down into tiger dog, bring the belly back towards the thighs. And then send the hips up into downward dog and as you do, send your right leg up for a three-legged dog. And then point the toes, flex that right ankle a few times, point, flex, point, flex. And then roll your right ankle around in a few little circles. And then switch the direction of your circles. And then we'll bend that right knee, begin to roll that right knee up towards the ceiling. Take a little peek under your right armpit. Maybe get opening through that right hip. And we extend that right leg out, release that foot down to the mat. Let's crouch ourselves down into tiger dog again, bring belly back to thighs, and then send the hips up to downward dog. This time send left leg up for a three-legged dog, and point the left toes, flex that ankle a few times, you point flex. And then we'll roll that left ankle around in a few circles. And then switch direction of your circles. And then we'll bend that left knee, begin to open that left knee up towards the ceiling. Take a little peek under left armpit. And then re-extend that leg out and back into your three-legged dog and release that foot down to the mat. Let's slowly walk it back into a forward fold. For a moment, lift your belly up off of your thighs. We'll hinge from the hips. Take the belly back down to the thighs. And again, bigger little bend in the knees here. Let the head drop down. Give your head a little shake, a little nod. And sway your hips from side to side. You can have your hands down on the mat here or grab a hold of your elbows and swing the arms as well from side to side. And then bring yourself to center, take hands to your hips, press into your feet, lift your heart, come all the way up into our Tadasana, feet about hip width distance. Lift, spread the toes, and then release the toes down, hug in through inner edges of the feet, through the shins, through the inner thighs, Lift up through the belly, reach that tailbone down towards the mat, lengthen up through the sides of the body, up through the crown of the head. Let's take the palms together at the heart. And then bring hands to the hips. You can step your feet a little bit wider if you like, roll up onto the ball of the right foot and then roll that right foot around in some circles. Of course, the Right knee is going to roll around as well. And then switch the direction of those circles. And then release that right foot down to the mat. Let's roll up onto ball of that left foot. And then roll that left ankle around. And then switch the direction of those circles. And then release that left foot down to the mat. Now let's bring the feet a little bit closer together. Bend your knees, bring your hands to your knees, and then roll your knees around in circles, keeping the knees together. And you can make the circles as big or small as feels okay for you. And then switch the direction of your circles. And then bring yourself to center. Now step your feet out a little bit wider than hip width distance. Hands to the hips. We'll roll the hips around now. 
over to one side, forward over to the other side, back, circling it around. And then switch the direction of your hip circles. And then bring yourself back to center. Step your feet back in about hip width. And then we'll bend our knees and sit back in chair. Bum back, hips back, knees back. Reach your arms forward. And then roll up onto the balls of your feet. Find your drishti, your focal point, gazing point on a spot in front of you, the wall, the floor something else, and then release your heels down to the mat, sit a little deeper in your chair, press into your feet and come all the way up to stand, palms together overhead, and then palms come down to heart. And let's do it again, sit back in your chair, arms reach forward, bum moves back. Roll it up on the balls of your feet. Lower heels down, press into your feet, come all the way back up, palms together overhead, hands back down to heart. And then one more time, sit it back in that chair, sweep the arms forward, and then we'll roll it up, balls of the feet, last one. Lower your heels down to the mat, press into your feet, come all the way up, palms together overhead, hands down to heart. And then let's reach the arms up. Hinge from your hips, fold yourself in, forward fold. Get your hands down onto the mat and step yourself back into your downward dog. Pedal it out. Release your knees down to the mat. Come back to sit on your heels. Drop over to one hip, swing the legs around. Let's take soles of your feet together, knees out to the side. Fingers press down into the mat, underneath the shoulders, sit up nice and tall. Keep it here or begin to walk your hands forward and reach the heart forward. And then walk yourself back up. Come back into your comfortable seat, whatever that feels like for you today. Palms back together at your heart. Come back to our intention to be gentle, kind, patient, loving, compassionate with ourselves. Thank you so much for sharing this short, gentle practice with me today. I hope it helped with love and gratitude. Namaste.